comfortable? get this perfect how's everybody doing welcome back to the ink therapy podcast with mr reyes and <laughs> facts <laughs> <laughs> we are about to do episode three of the ink therapy podcast and uh the amount of engagement that we're getting i, I think it's so cool to see on, on the channel and i appreciate everybody <laughs> That was the exact sound I was doing in my head. No way. I swear. Connected. <laughs> uh, last week, we reacted to uh, the, ta the new tattoo that one of the island boys got. And um, yeah, the <laughs> they actually made a follow up video of it. What? Yeah, they did. <gasps> no, they didn't. Yeah, it's very simple. I'm going to show it to you. The comment that the the guy who who tagged me in the in the new post it says says otherwise my boy he did a video on your Scarface tattoo best artist in Arizona, I was like don't don't put me on blast bro, <laughs> <laughs> but basically he replied to one of the comments that said that does not look like Scarface LMAO that does not look like Scarface um. Then what does it look like? That's Scarface right there. It's Scarface with the gun, the smoke going up. It says red. It's got a money sign on the side. I mean, it's pretty fire to me, if you ask me. My whole leg is going to be portraits and stuff like that, so. Pretty hard tattoo. And it was uh, freehand. If you can't change it, work with it. Yeah, he's working with it. You know what I mean? He do likes what it. You like, gotta do. it's exactly what you said on the last podcast too. You said maybe he likes it, and he does. And he does. There you go. You gotta like it. I mean, it is for you. Mm -hmm. It's for nobody else. So if you don't like it, that's where the problem is. But he really likes it, and he's gonna work with it. But that leads us to this week's tattoo nightmare of the week. <laughs> A lot of people tagged me on this video. I did not watch it this time. You didn't watch it? I didn't watch it. Because... Hey, you want to be surprised. I want to be surprised this okay. time. The reason why I know it's a tragedy is because a lot of people tagged me. Oh. I'm saying if you look at my, my mentions and my tags, it's that video over and over. <gasps> so I said, I'm not going to watch it because I feel like this is... Some oh, you're trusting the people now. I'm trusting the people. <laughs> when I was 18, I got my very first big tattoo. I absolutely loved it so much that I let the artist have creative control over the second one and it came out like this, which I loved. I had such a good time with him the first two times, so they went back and I asked for this to be in the middle of it to connect the two. He then comes back with this, which is simply not this. I was thinking that maybe I would just end up liking it and I let him put the stencil on. And then his friend came in and they were talking for what seemed like an hour. And in that time, I realized that that is not what I wanted. So I told him when he comes back, I said, hey, can we change this? I don't really want this. This is not what I showed you. He got pissed at me. And he went back to redraw it twice because he couldn't do what I wanted. And that's a very summarized version, but I was literally almost in tears about how uncomfortable and awkward this experience was for me because I was trying to stand up for myself and he was just getting so mad. In retrospect, I should have left, but I was young and trying to be nice, I guess. So we go through the whole tattoo and it comes out like this, which isn't exactly what I wanted still, but it didn't look bad. I was so embarrassed with how this came out and people kept telling me that it looked like a pineapple and I didn't even like pineapple. So I was like, I have to get this covered up. This girl that I used to work with worked at this tattoo shop and she said, hey, my friend can cover that. No problem. I was like, sick, let's do it. I felt like the vibes were a little off when I went to go get the cover up and I don't know what it was to this day. Maybe he was drunk or something, but it came out like this. This is what it looks like now. I absolutely hate it. And he also stabbed me in the knee with a tattoo gun on accident. And now it's so big and so dark. And every time I look at it, I just remember about how I couldn't stand up for myself back then. And it's it just gives me bad vibes. And I don't know what to do about it. I don't think I can cover it up. Laser's too expensive. I just don't know what to do. And it's really, really been bugging my mind lately. So if you have any suggestions on what to do, leave them in the comments. I don't like color tattoos. Oh, oh. my God. Gosh. wow crazy how we got this video right after this other video yes speaking up for yourself wow huge red flag that he got pissed and she also got stabbed with 
what is what is up with that i guess it's like a lot more common than we think (laughs) damn that sucks yeah i mean her first experience like she said she was young and which i I mean her first tattoo she ended up really liking that's why Mm -hmm. she went with that person again yeah and Uh, trusted the artist to do another amazing tattoo on her yeah and it looked very simple he could have just gotten an image on pinterest or google they have literally templates of the same tattoo that she wanted Mm -hmm. and just copy pasted it you know as an artist i mean if that's not what you want to do you know don't do it either Mm -hmm. if you know that that's not how it's gonna come out but i do feel like uh like the way she said it you know he got pissed you know it was it's kind of like a reaction that it's a weird reaction you know it's not when when somebody says he got pissed like it's it's not a reaction that came out of nowhere that one day only specifically with her you know it's it's more of a if he's able to react like that so quick after you made a comment that you don't like it that much yeah and then you just got mad then it's kind of like uh how many times does he do that you know and and how intimidating that situation it can be yeah you know he could have easily left you know but maybe she had high hopes that the tattoo was going to turn out super dope like the first one because she already she already had that good mm -hmm. experience with that person yeah yeah so it was kind of like i trust you and i'm sorry for making you upset i'll let you do your thing because you know i know you got me Dang. you know yeah that is mm-hmm. true yeah you're actually right i understand that a little bit more and then she went on the to the second artist but at this point she was desperate so it's kind of like whatever you do as long as you take this off of my body and make it better but then <laughs> it kind of just yeah. backfired and she ended up with another bad tattoo damn man i feel for her what would you recommend i mean because it's Mm -hmm. so dark right now i want to see the picture there's hope that she can definitely get it covered up with what what would you cover it up with Uh, my my mind automatically went to a lion a huge but you would have to cover up both mandelas no yep everything gotta go everything the whole thing gotta go a huge lion where the mouth lands the nose area lands under the second mandela or the 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 lower portion that way the texture from the nose covers that mandela and then as soon as where would the black net be kind of be the net will be the eyes will probably land right here okay the eyes the forehead and the mane from the line would just cover up the rest of the mandela and it would just be a nice fade out it's insane save your money up for a good cover-up artist yes well wish you nothing but the best and i hope you find the right person to do this job (laughs) Uh. (laughs) thank you so much for tagging me in these videos i really appreciate you we are going to take a short break, and when we come back, we have our guest, John Nelson, joining us on this podcast today. Boop, 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 boop. The heck is boop, 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 boop? <laughs> what, what the? What is this? Okay, okay, okay. Pew, pew, pew. Pew, All right. We're going to jump into the segment of our meticulous guest. That's going to grow on you, babe. Wait, say it again. Meticulous guest. Because I want to call everybody our meticulous friend. Our meticulous friend. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's not supposed to make sense. No, I don't like it. Okay, any other ideas other than a meticulous guest? Like for people who are going to come onto the pad- podcast, we need a name for the segment. Uh-huh. Yeah. Um, Kevin really, really wants to make fetch happen, but I'm telling you, it's <laughs> not going to happen. Our fetch guest? <laughs> <laughs> i like that better than that. what more than a meticulous <laughs> guest yes damn Okay, so our guest today, his name, like I mentioned in the last video, John Nelson. And uh, he does a lot of skits with uh, uh, about, you know, 
situations that we go through on a daily basis not daily basis that that tattoo artists go through you know and a lot of artists can relate to the skits that he makes you know yeah what 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 what, what is that just shaving you man is is that gonna burn it's just to put the stencil on it's not gonna burn don't move i'm putting it on All right, we're done. Really? That's it? We're done? Is this dude serious? serious? He thinks, thinks we're, we're done? done? Fuck it. I'm gonna roll with this. I don't wanna fucking do this, do this anyway. anyway. Yeah, we're done. And you did great. Damn, like that... Dude, that... Thank you so much, man. Like, that... That didn't even hurt. Like, I... Guess I just sit pretty well. <laughs> you killed it. Anyway, that'll be $500. I mean, like, I guess it was probably just like a little bit of like a mental thing, man, you know, like $500. Uh, but also he's a great artist. He His style is so unique. It's like a kind of like kind of like traditional realism. Well, I wouldn't know how to yeah. call it because you're the artist here. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know either. Oh, that one's so nice. It's so nice. And it's not all the way realistic. But it's also not so simple like traditional. And it also has a touch of like, you it's know. It's a realistic traditional Oh, uh, That's, that's uh, definitely got to be one of the questions we got to ask him. Uh, ah. <laughs> you like it? Yeah. Eh? Tra I, <laughs> realistic traditional. Hey. Oh, how you doing, man? Can you hear me? Hey, what's up? You guys hear me all right? Yeah, yeah I can, we can hear you. Crazy to uh, be on a call with you, man. I've been watching your socials. I've been watching all your videos. And I'm like, man, I wonder if I can talk to him. I have a lot of questions to ask you. Yeah, hell yeah, man. Thanks for uh, thanks for having me on. I see you in your car. Are you taking a, a, Are you running errands or something? Something? Actually, so I was in the shop. And of course, we lose Wi-Fi in the, uh, like in the piercing room. But it's loud and crazy in there right now. So I was like, shit, let me just run out to the car quick. Thank you. Thank you for taking the time, man. Yeah, yeah, of course. Damn. So my first my first question for you is what inspired you to start making this this videos? Yeah, so you know what? Um the people were saying like to do it for a while. We kind of have this mm -hmm. feel in the shop where it's like open atmosphere. We're all talking to each other, joking around, really just trying to make each other laugh and like be in a good mood all day. And and people are like, yo, you should make videos kind of about the jokes you guys tell or the stories and, and just see what happens. Um, honestly, I was a little hesitant about it at first, uh, but I was like, whatever, let's try it. And, you know, it was just kind of videos we would send back and forth to each other, like, you know, make a video, shoot it to one of the boys, you know, they're laughing. We're like, cool, that's a success. It started to gain some hype. So we were like, cool, let's keep making them. Um, and it got like everyone in the shop to do something together and have fun, which was probably the most valuable part of it to me. You know? Yeah. I mean, the type of videos you make, they're, they're, the topics, they're, they're very sensitive. But also you managed to kind of get the point across without anybody really getting butthurt about it. I mean, I'm pretty sure some people get a little sensitive, but... For the most part, when I was watching your videos and the the interactions you were having on the comments, they're very positive and everybody have a has a good laugh. So have you have you been overwhelmed with the kind of feedback that you're that you're getting from your videos? Um, in the beginning, maybe. Uh, really, just in terms of like, hey, I don't want this to like hurt the guys in the shop, you know? Yeah. And like, I want this to be a helpful, like, positive funny thing um yeah. it is like my sense of humor like it's dry it's <laughs> close to that line and you have to like be careful um uh -huh. so, you know and like when you when you play around in that like sarcasm <clears throat> kind of rough style of joking like you're, you're just gonna cross the line with some people sometimes has it affected your career in any way as far as like your clients coming in and feeling a little hesitant or maybe a little intimidated thinking that they're you're probably going to get inspired and make a video about them <laughs> <laughs> that's a good question i've gotten all ranges so um 
I've had people like stop by the shop just to say what's up. That's been happening like more often uh, than it mm -hmm. used to. I've had people come in and maybe feel like a little in intimidated based on like the characters we'll do and stuff. Um, I've even had people request like, yo, when I get tattooed by you, can you be mean to me? <laughs> <laughs> and like everything I've seen in person at the shop, like it's all love, which is yeah. super cool. And like one thing that I'm like stoked about is Adrian and Cam, Adrian was my apprentice, Cam's my current apprentice. Like they're getting a lot of it. For me, like the hardest thing in the beginning was like building my clientele and it's helping them do that. So that's just so cool to see, you know? That's awesome. Speaking of your tattoos though, what would you call your style? Because we were talking about it a little bit and we were seeing um, it's kind of like in the mix of very traditional and then realistic at the same time. We were having a debate out here, man. We were like, what do you specialize in? Yeah, I don't know. That's a good question. <laughs> <laughs> I like the realism a lot or, or close people have been like, Hey, I want more of like a Neo dark feel. Um, and mm -hmm. I've always been into like the creepy artwork. Uh, so I'm like, cool. I'll just like do some realism and throw some lines on it. And like, we'll call it Neo. And they're like, all right, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> it definitely makes you stand out. I was watching your, your tattoos and I'm like, you know, you can tell your tattoos apart from, a lot of people that specialize in kind of like the style that you do, but it makes you stand out because you put a little twist to it mm -hmm. and you can definitely tell apart, you know, which tattoos you do. Congratulations on blowing up, first of all. Mm -hmm. um, what What's next? Actually, I'm opening another shop um, that'll hopefully be open in the next six months. Um, and we're merging... Oh the uh the tattoo world with like the med spa world so it'll be a tattoo shop that has like botox fillers no job tattoo removal like, wow. yes. Yes. Nice. Yeah, so it should be pretty cool it'll be called a uh, model citizen um and hopefully will be open by the end of the year so that's i would say that's what's next that's wow, exciting that's congratulations amazing. we have to go get a facial and a tattoo at the same day <laughs> yeah 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 I mean, it's all body mods right my experience with the bigger shop is is definitely smaller than or it's definitely different than like a smaller shop do you have a preference you like working with a lot of guys or you prefer a smaller i like i like an open floor plan where i can see everyone and because i mean we everybody gets along so we tell stories we tell just like you know really similar to your environment and uh, a lot of the guys here, everybody's mostly Hispanic. So we just blast Mexican music all day <laughs> long. And uh, I think a lot of my clients, a lot of my clients are from out of state. So when they come here, they're looking for that experience. Hanging out and uh, getting closer to like 9 p.m. We start getting weird, weird conversations. You know what I mean? Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Please describe what you mean by weird. <laughs> <laughs> after dark it gets weird <laughs> what are you talking about <laughs> the last topic i remember that it was pretty weird it was hard to get out of it because everybody was intrigued <laughs> was about uh one of the artists he had uh, a client that he is a nurse practitioner uh -huh. right so yeah you know we just had a, a patient that he um, he went to the bathroom because he was constipated and he just dropped a, a nine pound dookie <gasps> <laughs> in the toilet. Yeah, I would have said the same thing. Breaking. I'd be like, yeah, we have to weigh that. Like that <laughs> might be that like, world record breaking. <laughs> <laughs> and it just, we probably had like a 30 minute conversation about poop. You're right. You're right. That does get weird. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was that was 8 p.m. <laughs> <laughs> listen, listen, I get. And honestly, I, I wouldn't have it any other way, man. Like you're coming <laughs> to the shop, you're, you're just talking, whatever comes up. And like whether you're artist, client, you feel like you can jump in on the conversation. Like I love yeah. it. And I understand like when you get tired and late, like the topics get weird, you know, <laughs> and you just, you just you roll with it. I mean, the other... Uh, a few months back, like we, we were getting obsessed with this thing with like 
talking about how everyone has a number, right? Like, um, like in terms of dollar value. And like just asking everyone in the shop, you know, and the apprentices always have to participate. Like, yo, Cam, get up here, answer this question, you know. Um, yes. You know, like would, like how much money would it take for you to like do this or that or whatever? And then, you know, it gets late in the night and like people start pulling out money. Like, all right, put your money where your mouth oh. is or, or whatever it is. Um, oh. But I think at the time we were asking Cam how much money it would cost him for him to leave his girlfriend. Right. Oh, oh. so like, look, these are the topics that come up. And, uh, and I think we, I think as a shop, we offered him 3000 cash. Right. And uh, this might've been a little bit longer ago. And he was <laughs> like, uh, no, yo, cause that's a lot of money as an apprentice, you know? And, um, <laughs> Hell yeah, it so, is. Facts, bro. He ended up turning it down like a gentleman um <laughs> leaving the money and then unfortunately two weeks later his girl broke up with him dude oh no <laughs> no holy shit oh you got y'all jinxed it y'all jinxed, jinxed it <laughs> <laughs> obviously we had to remind him about the money that he could have made you know obviously the, the yeah obviously <laughs> But like ah. things like that will just come up all the time, and like I'm just dying. Oh We're all laughing. It's just it's just a good time. He took it like a champ, you know, onto the next or whatever. <laughs> he, I hope so. He <laughs> has now no girlfriend and down three thousand dollars. <laughs> yeah, it happens sometimes. Oh you you learn expensive lessons. Yeah, man. Well, thank you so much for joining us, man. I really appreciate it. Uh, it means a lot that you took the time to uh talk to us and uh tell us all your stories and how you got started you know that's that's amazing yeah of course man thank you again for having me on it's a pleasure meeting both of you hopefully we can do this again sometime of course yeah do you have a youtube channel or is it on the on the making you know i don't yet we've been talking about possibly making one um i mean if we do you know we'll launch something we've been working on some new kind of content styles um okay which would kind of move into like longer videos uh so we'll see where that go actually right when i hop up here we'll go shoot some new stuff so um awesome. yeah so hopefully it'll be up soon yeah yeah awesome. well go ahead and uh, uh tell us uh tell the audience anything that you want them to know about you and then your socials and uh, just anything promote yourself yeah so you know john nelson tattoos out of borrowed time tattoos for lauderdale the uh the instagram is uh john nelson tattoos um style unknown you know no. uh, <laughs> the, uh, tiktok's also john nelson tattoos along with the facebook it's all the same awesome of course man well thank you so much and you're more than welcome to uh come to arizona as well you have a home here really appreciate that guys and thank you for your time i want to say thank you so much to john nelson for joining us on this podcast uh it means a lot to us that he took the time to to step outside of the shop for a little bit to have this uh, interview with us. I think he's super chill and super cool. It was a uh, it was a ple real pleasure to have you on the the podcast and meet you. So uh, if any of you wanna uh, follow his journey and uh, you know follow his work and his videos that he makes, follow him on Instagram, TikTok, and hopefully soon he's gonna be making a YouTube channel. I'm gonna put the link on the description, so make sure to follow him. And uh, yeah, we're gonna go to a quick commercial break. And we're going to come back and answer a few emails. We are back and ready to start answering a few emails. Today, we are only going to be choosing one person. We got a couple emails to follow up with from our pr the previous client. Mm -hmm. So we're just going to choose one more to get them on the books. Yes. So we already set one uh, one of the clients up. He's all ready to go. Oof. Um, we've got the dates. We've got the meeting times and everything. So we'll be seeing you soon, Mr. Giancarlo. Yes. On Wednesday, we're going to have a quick little breakfast consultation, get his design ready to go. And Thursday, Friday, we are going in on a full project from shoulder to shoulder for chest plate. This week? 
It's this week? Oh, darn. Damn. Let's go. All right. And then um, following up on your other client, um, he is deciding to do both pieces. All right. And then one of the clients, unfortunately, um, how how you said that since we don't book too far off, he was looking forward to booking into next year. Oh, yeah. So um, he won't be able to book the B on the books Mm -hmm. (laughs) on the books so um we're gonna have to send him back his deposit and then hopefully maybe next year he can he can uh reserve a spot okay once again all right so the next person is looking for a cover-up uh with the hint of color i'm looking to do a big crow with whatever recommendations you might have to add to it i'm gonna decline crows definitely they they're too dark all right so next one is a cover-up as well looking for true gray look for you for more of a pirate theme i know it'll be a lot of black and gray so that should make it easier uh to be <laughs> honest i am open to any ideas and let you just go at it so this is the piece to cover up holy cow it's dark no way Oof. That is tough. Yeah, I'm gonna decline. It looks extremely dark. And, uh, yeah, I, I definitely, I would definitely say laser is your best choice because there's not a, there's not a concept out there that's going to cover that up. Next one is a cover up as well. It's true gray. They want it in the inner form, looking f- to cover up. I've seen your work on Instagram and YouTube and think you're the only person that can help me. I've been trying to book an appointment with you for the past year, and I hope I get to book an appointment this time. No pressure. No pressure. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see. Okay. Okay, pretty simple. Mm-hmm. What's, what did he say the concept? Ooh. Okay. <laughs> That's tight. Mm-hmm. That's super dope. An Egyptian skull. I knew you were going to like it. I'll take it. Yeah? I'll take it. Wow. Oh, damn. We didn't have to go through a lot of them this time. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you guys next week. Peace. Peace. <laughs> oh.